Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Man, I am on the road today with my road dog. Yeah, we've already been down, took care of exchanging the hot water heater that we had, and now we're rolling back home. It'll be about 300 miles of driving today. Yeah, but I'll be back in time for our live stream, 9 o'clock tonight. I figured I'd hit this before it gets dark um, because you can't see me, but I'm driving in the dark. By now, you know that Van Der Esch has got something going on with his neck. He is not going to be able to play this weekend. It's a recurring that's, injury. That's, that's what it probably is. The, you know, Dr. Jones was talking and saying that, you know, long term, it's okay. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Dr. You know, Jerry Jones. I mean, they, they, but, they're right about, uh, what's his name, uh, Smith. About Jalen Smith, took a yeah. chance on him. But, but the way Jerry kind of talked was kind of making you think that this was something kind of serious now, but won't be later. I, you know Jerry Jones. He just, you just don't understand Jerry Jones speaking. But here's the thing. A lot of people were talking about Sean Spider-Man Lee. They still are. That I, I am too. I'm, I'm concerned about how it wraps up guys. And why we had him in the end zone for two, to cover a guy who got two touchdowns. That's kind of stuff that concerns you. You know what? But some of that's coach. Wait, wait, hold on. That's coach. Have you seen our defense lately? Are you, th are you saying the only thing we had to worry about was Sean Lee? Have you seen the rest of those guys tackling? You're the one that asked about Sean Lee. I'm just saying. Well, look, I was trying to say those who said, why are we re-signing Sean Lee? Because he's always injured. You know, we got you know uh, Van Der Esch out there. We don't need Sean Lee. Right now, we need Sean Lee. We need the rise of Spider-Man Lee to come around. What about Thompson? Yeah, well, right now he's mispracticed the last few days with an illness. But here's, but, 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 but see, you, you're throwing shade on Sean Lee. I, I get it. He's not a young man that we, was we, never we, uninjured. We but he's got 39 tackles on the season. We, but we about the other two, uh, linebacker that we got? Who? Jalen Smith? No, it was, it was, a, it was a white guy. Um, oh. I think I heard preseason. He, okay, but... Listen, I'm talking about Sunday. Right now, I'm talking about right... See, you know what? Kids today, I was trying to say that this is that time for Sean Lee to rise again, okay? To become that Spider-Man Lee that I remember that had... That had three, you know, interceptions a season and stuff. You don't know. You don't know. Because you know what? You, you got to understand that he may be old like me. But you know what? It, it, don't, don't throw shade on us old people. Because, see, he might be the motivational figure that you need right now. Because he may be the one that saves this season. That he gets out there with his leadership ability. And understand that he may not be able to get there the way he used to. But he knows where the hell to go. That man knows as much, if not more, than most coaches out there on the field. And I'm telling you, don't throw shade at the old dog. You don't believe it, huh? You think we're doing with Sean Lee? I'm not going to say that. You know what? What, what, what happened to Scarborough that play that I saw? He tried to wrap him up into his range. That was one play. Wait, wait, you know what? The two times they you know how many plays I saw score. Van Der Esch that people just ran past his ass on a consistent basis the last three weeks? The question, Okoye Media even did a video about it. The What's question, going on with Van Der Esch? The question is, was it was he was was he hurt? It doesn't matter no, whether asking. it was hurt or that he was a sophomore slump. The fact is, he wasn't making the plays. I think it's because of injury. Uh, right, exactly. So get him off the field and get somebody else that'll play a little bit better. I will take a Sean Lee that's uninjured right now versus what I've seen with Van Der Esch. And I believe that Van Der Esch is going to do. Excuse me. I believe Sean Lee is going to do some damage. I think that now that he is back to starting and knows that I'm going to be starting instead of being on the sidelines, wait till your number is called, that he's going to get into the flow of things. Because, you know, it's kind of like running backs. You know, usually it takes, you know, 10 or 15 carries before they get to the flow again. They start getting... Is he throwing... Is he laughing at me? I'm laughing at you because I haven't seen that for a second. 
Tony Pollard, yes. Not for Zeke. <laughs> he got jokes. Hey, but Zeke did, get two, know. Zeke did get two touchdowns last week, so I can't throw too much shade at him this week. Listen, just because she's old, just because he's had injuries in the past, doesn't mean he still can't be a hero. I'm telling you. See, you're sleeping on Sean Lee. He had 12 tackles against the Giants. 12 tackles against... I don't care who you're playing in the NFL. If you can get 12 tackles, I don't care if it's the Doo Doo Browns, I don't care if it's the Detroit Lions, I don't care if it's the Giants. If you get 12 tackles in the NFL, you still do something. It wasn't like we said, this is gonna be charity tackles. Okay, let's just go ahead and just drop at Sean Lee's feet. He had to actually make those tackles. And see, he hasn't been playing that much. But the other thing too, it was that the game that Van Gress got taken out. Right, in the and, league. And he actually stepped up. You know, right, and guess what? Van Der Esch is taken out. And this is an opportunity for Sean Lee to step up again. Listen, six games is what I need right now. And say, three playoff games. That's what I'm talking about. Nine game season for Sean Lee. I know you can do it, Sean Lee. I believe in you, man. Joe Boo believes in you. I'm telling you. It's the rise of Sean Spider-Man Lee. You want to put money on it? I, mean, I could put 20 on it because somebody owes me $20. Who owes you 20 I owe you 20 The, the, the Redskins fan. Oh, I was going to say, I was say, I owe you $20? <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. The Redskins fan. Oh, Daniel? Yeah, oh. I owes me 20 you, you know, <laughs> like the you, you know, he ain't. What, what, what's the bet with him? That the one of these six. He's not even wearing these six. <laughs> Just tell him to go buy you four tickets. <laughs> That's all <laughs> you get for $20 with the Redskins. I really, I really have the cash. Have the cash. Right, because it ain't worth $20 for four Redskins tickets. All right, I say Sean Lee has eight tackles this Sunday. Over or under? All right, well. Under, under. Let, 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 let's figure out what, what piece of memorabilia do you want me to bet in the basement? What you want? All right, well, get back to me and what, what I'm betting down there from the, from, from the man cave. And what you going to bet? Because I see you hide that Roger Staubach helmet. I'm not, I'm not putting that up. I, I see you hide that from me. See, see, you see how he does me? You see how he does me? He, he won't even let me use that Roger Star back. I can't even back. use it. Why? Because I'm not wearing anything Dallas Cowboys until Jason Kidd gets fired. Is that right? That's, that's what I said on the video. Oh, my God. Michael Michael is on strike. Did not, you, I, I didn't know. Did, I I'll wear, know I'll wear this because it's cold, but that's no exception. Michael is on strike. He, you will not wear anything Dallas Cow. Isn't Michael Anthony business? I said, I, I said, not my merch. Oh, did you put that out in the blogosphere? Yes, I did. You didn't tell me. You didn't. You didn't tell the brother here. Yes, I watched the videos. Okay, <laughs> Michael Anthony is no longer wearing Cowboys gear except except the hat. Except the hat and his merch. So no jerseys. I really don't have wait, 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 stop, stop right there. Oh, hold on, hold on. What if the Cowboys go into playoffs and they win the first game? You still won't wear Cowboys merch? I mean, Cowboys gear? Hold up, hold up, hold, hold, hold the phone, hold the phone. I'm being serious, Seriously, okay, okay, let me, let me, let me get this scenario right. What if the Cowboys win the division, make the playoffs, win the wild card game, you know, win the divisional rounds, and go to the NFC Championship game? You won't wear your Dak Prescott jersey that you had before anybody else I can't had a do Dak. Oh no! I, 
I was touching I'm shit. Out, I'm out, I'm out. I tell you what, if the Cowboys, I, you know, I, I wear Joe Boo's Dak, Dak Prescott jersey. I'm not wearing You can have to wear it on my hand. I'm not wearing anything. So. Nope. Still, if they made it to the NFC Championship game, you wouldn't wear the cow. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. What if the Cowboys kick New England's ass, beat the crap out the Eagles, okay, go on a six-game winning streak, end up getting a first-round bye, <laughs> end up beating whoever in the divisional rounds, go to the NFC Championship game, win the NFC Championship game, I get you to Miami for the Super Bowl. You won't wear any Cowboys merchandise here. If the Cowboys in the Super Bowl, you're in Miami and you're telling me that you will not wear any... Come on, man. Do y'all believe that? Do y'all believe that? You're telling me if the Dallas Cowboys were in the Super Bowl, okay, and I, and, and, and I go to Miami, I buy you the bomb-ass ass Cowboys gear, okay? Might as well save your money. You won't wear it. Might as well save your money. So, okay, 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 okay. One last, one last one. Until Jason Garrett gets five, I'm wait, not wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 because I'm getting this on tape. The Dallas Cowboys go through the playoffs. They make it to the NFC Championship game. They win it. They go and play in the Super Bowl. Let's say against the Baltimore Ravens. We get my man Brian who's going, who's the Raven fan, right? And they beat Baltimore in the Super Bowl. And Jason Garrett gets an extension. You are defending Super Bowl champions. You finally see the Dallas Cowboys win the Super Bowl since you were four years old, five years old. And you're telling me that if Jason Garrett has, let's say, another three-year contract, that you won't wear cowboy gear, even with the big Super Bowl champions? Come on, man. Come on. You lied to your dad now. Let, all right. You heard it. Michael Anthony Fitness reactions says he will not ever in life wear anything other than his cowboy hat and his own merchandise unless Jason Garrett is fired, even if they end up winning the Super Bowl. I just put you on blast. You know that, right? That's fine. All right. He said, save my money. What do y'all think? Will Michael Anthony stick to that? All right, I'll see you guys 9 o'clock tonight, live stream. And we'll definitely be talking about this a little more. I can't believe that one. Because, you know, I, I, I could be like, okay, bygones be bygones. We finally got that Super Bowl. Uh, okay. See ya. <laughs>